episode of Facebook. I'm back. Another episode of Cycles of Life. You feel me? Had a lot of things on my mind, and I just wondered how long have you been sitting, or have we been sitting in this pot um, of America where our thoughts and our feelings and the things that we want to do are so controlled and how many people are just willing to be a free thinker yo like here's an example of what I mean by free thinking how many people try to keep up with the Joneses how many people always got to have the latest of everything well, who are you trying to impress are you just doing that because they tell you to do that I mean are you really just doing that so you can have something to say to make it seem as if you feel as if you're better than somebody else because at the end of the day you can't take none of that stuff with you you feel me I mean, I just want to know how much did they pay you to stop thinking for yourself? How much did they pay you to stop going after your dreams and everything else? Because, yo, your dreams are free. Your dreams are gifts. Your talents are gifts and things that were given to you, man. Who hurt you so bad that you stopped wanting to go after your dreams? Who controlled you and how long have you been sitting in the pot so bad that you just stopped saying that you can't do something? Because if... We were born and our greatest gift was freedom of choice. What price did you pay to stop thinking? I mean, just really think about that. What price did you pay for you to stop believing that you could do whatever that you wanted to do? I mean, that's facts. We can actually do whatever we want to do. The question is, are we willing to put in the work to make it happen? The choices that we make today affect tomorrow. If you don't like where you are, if you don't like that person in the mirror, the thing about it is, is only three things can happen. Either you'll come back to the mirror the next day and look the same way, you can come back to the mirror and look worse, or you can come back to the mirror and be a new person. Like, when did you stop loving yourself? When did you stop saying, yes, I can? There's some things that we just really need to talk about. There's some things that we just really need to just let percolate in our mind, you know? Like, here's my thing, right? A lot of people see where I'm at right now, and I'm so grateful to God for everything that he's given me, and I appreciate all the support and all the love, you know what I'm saying? I never thought in a million years that I would be where I am until I decided to make that choice and just believe in it wholeheartedly. You know what's so crazy is, though? Every single person that's watching this video or that's supporting me on my journey, y'all could be doing the same thing. I'm no better, no more talented, no more anything except for my belief is ridiculous in what I want to be and what I want to become. And I don't care how many times i got to fail my way to success. Thomas Edison is ridiculously famous for failing his way to being successful. But most of the time we quit after two or three tries. My question is, how much did they pay you to stop thinking? How much did they pay you to stop being free? Who put these mental prisons around you? And what's avoiding you from leaving your mental prison, man? Just just think about it, yo. Because, yo, like, who says what right is? Who determines that? Who determines whether you can be or where you want to be or anything? Who determines that? Only one person. You. You yourself, you are your own movie. You are writing your own script to your own movie of life. And if you don't like the ending, then write something different. Get up and do something different. Change your day. Do something different. Because if you wake up and do the same thing every single day, then why are you complaining? Why you got all these angry posts on Facebooks? And why do you have all these angry things on social media, yo? It makes no sense to me. I don't understand it. Because the only person that can change that outcome is you. When will you decide to do something different, man? I know I've decided. And if you keep watching, I promise you, you're going to keep seeing me change. Every time I get on this camera, it's going to be somebody different. Somebody more than improved. Somebody better. Even though, guess what? I'm a shell of myself. I'm not even what I'm all the way supposed to be. Isn't that cute, crazy? Isn't that beautiful? I'm not everything that I'm supposed to be yet. But I'm fully equipped with everything that I'm supposed to have to become everything that I'm supposed to be. And I believe that. Do you believe that about yourself? I'm just challenging y'all, man, to be free, man. Think freely, man. I love y'all, man. I let your boy, man, keep following my success. I appreciate all the support. But I just really want you to ask yourself that question when you look in the mirror. Who paid you to stop thinking what? Who told you that you couldn't be, man? Why aren't you free? Why don't you free yourself? 
Let's go. 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 Let's go.